Hello students, in this tutorial we are going to discuss the example 3 of principle of mathematical induction. Here we are going to prove that the whole left hand side is equals to m by n plus 1. Here the question is asking you to show that the given formula is correct for all the natural numbers. That's what n greater than or equals to 1 means. Okay, uh, let us look at the solution now. Let the given statement be P of n. We always start the proof by naming the given statement. So here is a PN statement. So step one. In step one, we show that the given statement is true at least for the first natural number, that is one. For that, we need to we need to choose the nth term of left hand side and right hand side, and now replace all the n by one. What you get? 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 2. That is left hand side is equals to right hand side. Therefore, the pn is true for n is equals to 1. So the pn is true. The given statement is true at least for the first natural number. Next, step 2. In step 2, we need to assume that the given statement is true for other natural numbers also. And let that be k. So we have to replace all the n by k now. So this is p of k where all n's are replaced by k and let this be 1 because we use this pk in step 3. This step is all about assumption that's it. Now step 3. In step 3 now we need to prove that pn is true for n is equals to k plus 1. Now when we assume that the given statement is true for any natural number k now we need to prove that p of n is true for n is equals to k plus 1. So what we do we replace all the k by k plus 1. We have this k replaced by k plus 1, k plus, this k is k plus 1 and here is the 1 that is equals to k is k plus 1 and this k is k plus 1 plus 1. Let us simplify this bracket that is k plus 1, k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2 and this is k plus 1 by k plus 2. So what we need to do ultimately is this left hand side is equals to right hand side. We need to get the exact picture of this term in the left hand side. To make this left hand side exact picture of the right hand side, we need to simplify this. So when we look at this term, they are here in the decreasing order. Okay, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1. So there will obviously be a term 1 by k, k plus 1 preceding this term. So there will be obviously this term preceding it, isn't it? This is the preceding term of 1 by k plus 1 and k plus 2. There will always be n term of pk preceding here. Okay, and that's the shortcut if you want to remember. So now these two terms are same. And now we can substitute k by k plus 1 here in place of this whole term. And write this term here 1 by k plus 1, k plus 2. Here in this step, try finding common term. I always tell you that because it makes our work a lot more easier. Okay, see here you can find k plus 1 common on both the side of the denominator. So let's take 1 by k plus 1 as common. So what remains inside is k and k by k plus 1 we have already taken common. So what remains is 1 plus 1 by k plus 1 is already taken as common. So what remains is k plus 2. Now this term will remain as it is. Let us take LCM here. That is, what is LCM of k plus 2 and 1? That is k plus 2. And k gets multiplied to k plus 2 and plus 1. k into k, k square. k times 2, 2k. k plus k times 1, k. Whole divided by k plus 2. And k square plus 2k plus 1 gives you k plus 1 whole square by this formula. So we write k plus 1 whole square here because if we split this, we get k square plus 2k plus 1 by this formula. Next, k plus 1 whole square, it can also be written in form of k plus 1, k plus 1. So this k plus 1 gets cancelled by this k plus 1. So what, you remain, what remains is k plus 1 divided by k plus 2. That's, uh, that's what we wanted in the right hand side. That is k plus 1 divided by k plus 2. Hence, P of k, k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. So by principle of mathematical induction, the statement is true for all the natural numbers. So we just check the given statement for all the possible values that is n is equals to 1, k, k plus 1. And now we can conclude that the given statement holds good for all the natural numbers. Thank you.